This video is sponsored by Linode. Sign up with my referral link, linode.com slash eg, and receive a $20 credit to your account. So in this video, we're going to be using Terraform to create our very own Linode instance, but with a twist. We're going to provision it using a stack script. Now a stack script is basically a batch script that is run right after your instance is deployed. I like to think of them as one-shot AWS user data, if you're familiar with that. It's also very similar to what Ansible does in the form of provisioning. Though a stack script is run directly after the instance is launched, Ansible or any sort of CM tool is generally run after the instance is deployed as like a second step. The stack script basically runs as part of the deployment. Another new thing we're going to be doing in this Terraform themed video is we're going to be using an external Terraform module. Now a Terraform module is just a reusable piece of Terraform code, a module, and ideally it's generic enough that it could be used for pretty much anything, assuming it's compatible with the provider. So for example, the module we're going to be using in this video is a Linode instance module that I created. And while it's not designed to handle everything a Linode instance is capable of, it does have an optional parameter that allows for stack scripts, and that's what we're going to be using. So before we get rolling, you'll need to make sure that you have your Linode API key set as an environment variable and a recent version of Terraform installed. I'm using Terraform version 0.11.10 in this video. And we'll go ahead and get started by creating a file called main.tf. And in it, we'll use a Terraform module and call it Linode. Inside the module, we'll set the following attributes. Source will be the path to my Linode instance module on GitHub. Authorized keys is an array with a chomp function and a file path to your public key. Authorized users is the name of your current user. Type is the type or size of the Linode instance we'll be using. Region is the region or data center we'll be deploying the Linode instance into. For label, we'll just go ahead and call it demo. The image is Linode slash Ubuntu 18.04. The root password is whatever you want the root password to be. And the stack script ID is 394412, which is the ID of the stack script I wrote. Underneath the module, we'll set an output called instance IP, and the value will be module.linode.publicIP, because that is what my Linode module outputs, so you can see the public IP and SSH into it. And once we've finished all that in our TF file, we'll open up a terminal and run terraform init followed by Terraform plan. And if everything looks good, we'll run Terraform apply and watch Terraform do its thing. So after about a minute or so, we'll see that Terraform has finished deploying our instance and has outputted the IP address for us. We'll take that IP address and log straight into the instance using SSH. So the stack script I wrote installs a really handy application called Cockpit, which is a web interface for doing admin stuff to your server. You can view the Cockpit UI by going to your machine's address, followed by the port 9090. Cockpit uses SSL with a self-signed cert by default, so the first time you visit it, you'll see this warning. For now, we'll just go ahead and dismiss the error, get to the login page, and log in as root. And from here, you can do most admin-related things like create and edit users, look at software updates, of course, check out your system resources, and yeah, it's a really useful tool if you do any sort of remote admin stuff. So the Terraform provider for Linode was released in October of 2018, so it's relatively new in the grand scheme of Terraform things. In this video, we only use Terraform to create a Linode instance, but you can do a whole bunch of other things like create images, create node balancers, create Linode volumes, and you can actually create your own stack script from here in Terraform, which is kind of weird. And by the way, anybody can create stack scripts like I created mine straight here from the cloud manager. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap this one up. So I wrote an article over on Medium to go along with this video. So if you prefer to read about how to deploy a Linode instance instead of watching me do it, you can do that. If you like this video or the article and you want to support me, you can follow me and donate to me over on Coffee. Or if you prefer Patreon, I have that too. I'm also partnered with Linode, so if you want to get a head start with your Linode account and get a credit, you can use my link, linode.com slash eg. And if you like this video, you want to see more, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.